Hello everyone, Triton HD here and welcome back to the Triton Army channel. In today's video, what I've got for you guys is a full guide on how to set yourself up in this AFK glitch. Now there's a ton of questions I get in my live streams and all the answers to the questions I'm actually going to answer in this video. Alright, so sit back, relax and enjoy the video. But question number one chaps is what augment do I need to go completely AFK and what are the best spots to do it in? So let's cover these first, alright, we're going to do the augments first. So if you want to be set up in the lobby, I mean, all you need to do to do that, chap, is go down the comment section and then put your Activision name with a hashtag. So whatever it is, hashtag and the numbers after that, go in the comment section, do that, because I'm going to be live streaming after this and I'm going to be picking people from this video to come in and set it up. So pay attention to what I'm saying to you guys. And if all goes well, I'll literally go in and do about 200 people in a live stream. All right, so let's crack on with the video. So the augments that you're going to want if you're going AFK are Juggernaut. You're going to want to have turtle shell and harden plates now the reason why that is is because the turtle shell stops you taking damage from the front you can take damage from the back but i'll cover the next augment after that that mitigates all of that stuff so you're pretty much a god in the game and then hardened plates armor plates um have more damage mitigation all right so if you get hit from the rear it's going to take less armor off you all right well, the next augment is retribution trigger an explosion on activation normal enemies that melee you are damaged and knocked down now what that does chaps literally is any zombie that touches you they're going to instantly die once you've got your weapon upgraded to at least pack a punch to you can go to any rounds that you want and also upgrade the rarity to at least a purple all right you don't need to go to elite as long as you have retribution and then the bottom ones down here the best one out of the three is repair more armor per kill when a zombie touches you if you got your back to him you take a bit of damage he touches you he's instantly going to die and then regenerate that shield all right so that's all you need chaps retribution repair boost and then turtle shell and hardened plates that is all you need to get set up for the glitch and if you're the host like i am all i have to have on is phalanx and rally that is all you need you don't need an explanation of what it is basically when i activate that i pass on this infection to you and then that in turn you'll have those two plus the retribution and repair boost, you're going to have all four augments activated on your character at once. All right, so it's very, very simple. I'm going to say this one more time. If you're not the host and you want to be set up for the AFK glitch, you have turtle shell, hardened plates, and then for your frenzy, you need to have retribution and repair boost. What I'm going to do for the rest of the video is show you exactly how to do the glitch. The best place again is set up for you to go completely AFK. All right, so it's taken me about two or three days to figure out all of this stuff myself on stream and all that trial and error. So you guys can literally just go in, hold your knife out and then go to bed or shag their missus whatever tickles your fancy all right so without further ado let's jump straight into the rest of the video for you guys that want me to host for you this is the steps that i need you to take to make my life a lot easier all i need to do is come into the game give you the god mode and then leave the game as soon as possible so what you want to do is go into your party privacy and then put that on invite only we're going to cover what you need to do afterwards in game and uh, once you've done that you need to go select a mission and then choose any map of choice so for that for instance you need to turn squad fill off so on the bottom left hand side see that I turn it off click standard play in a squad and then go to Liberty Falls then what you need to have on is obviously don't have on frenzy guard you need to change your loadout change your frenzy guard and put it on energy mine if you're not AFK you want to get through the rounds extremely fast put the energy mine on trust me you're gonna be fucking shocked at the end of the video how quick I'll go through the rounds in the later rounds all right so that is what you need to set up have any weapon of choice and then choose the melee knife once you've done that all you now need to do is ready up and then go into game. Once you're in game, I'll show you what we need to do there. Welcome to Liberty Balls. Right, we've started the game. First step is activate Rampage Inducer. So we activate that and a lot of you guys have asked me a question of how I get these different colored zombies. Now, what I'm going to show you quickly is you need to go to... Oh, hold on a minute. I'll show you in a second. When I'm on a... Yeah, watch this. I'll get down to one zombie and I'll quickly show you. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. I think that's one zombie. Right, so we're going to go over to here. This is a handy tip to know. If you want to just quickly do something, go on the front of these tanks, line up your belt with this bit here. Yeah, so line your belt up with that. He's going to do that. And then I'm going to show you what settings you need to do. So go to interface. You want to go to readability, turn high contrast on. Now you can have allies, enemies on, turn everything else off, darken background. You can have that, but I wouldn't suggest do that 
Oh shit. Let's do that again. Right, so you want colorization and then put enemies. You go like that and you can choose any color that you want and then click apply custom color. Um, what I do is filter to color world and then put these two to 100%. And now you should have it like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to round about round seven and then I'll show you what steps next from there. Okay, so I'm at round eight. Got one zombie left. Now what I want to do is deactivate the rampage inducer and then make my way around to the map where I'm going to show you when I'm in the live stream, as I said, I'm going to be helping in about 200 people in the live stream that I do next. So whilst you're watching this, the live stream would have already started. All right, if you missed it, don't worry. I live stream at least two times a day from five to nine hours. All right, so hopefully you'll be able to be set up by me. Okay, little tip on these perk machines. If you go pro, you're going to get an extra hundred. Pick up Juggernaut. That's the most important perk that you need. Juggernaut and Melee Macchiato, which I'm going to go and get now. Okay, now once you buy this perk, it's pretty simple. All we now need to do, you should have about 1,000 or something like at least 1,200 of these bad boys. So we're going to buy that and we're going to go and buy the Napalm Burst. All right. Now this is important for me. After that, we're going to go on the front of here and then what I told you about setting up, opening up your party so I can actually join you. What you now need to do is open up your menu, go to social and then put your party to open. Right, after opening your lobby chats, make sure that you go back and then put it on invite only because you do get people that join you, especially if I'm joining your lobby. People will come in and then obviously once they're in, a lot of people don't leave. Once I join your lobby, I want to see you in this location, kill that zombie there and then you'll be here here and as soon as I spawn in you're going to shoot that power up which is going to give me the frenzy all right so we're going to do that and then shoot this power up okay so we've got the power up we're going to turn around and then what the other character needs to do is he wants to come over here activate frenzy mode and then cook a grenade and kill himself so we can activate frenzy frenzy mode cook a grenade and then kill himself and then once he's down he'll then leave the game and then if done correctly you should have unlimited god mode all right, once you're at this point, all you now need to do is pull out your knife, open up this door, and then just quite simply come here, aim your sights up with this here, and then that is it until round 25. Once you get to round 25, I'm then going to show you what we need to do from there. All right, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video. Also, the next question was, how do I stop being kicked for AFK? Now, as long as you're being attacked by zombies, as long as you're receiving damage, or as long as you're causing damage, then you will not get kicked. As you can see in this glitch, you're causing damage to the zombies by them causing damage to you. So it's impossible for you to be kicked AFK. But what I like to do is I like to get a boot lace or hairband or something like that with my left analog stick i like to pull that straight back in a line all right so once i've done that i then get my firing button and then i jam a coin in there or something like that so when i push down like that i now got something jammed in there and i just leave it like that and then i'll go out and do something so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and take a bath and then i'll come back at around level 25 26 or something like that just to show you exactly what happens from there all right so i'm not going to do anything i might even do a fast forward thing all through the rounds just so you guys can see exactly what i mean oh yeah almost forgot you need to activate the rampage inducer. Right there, guys. By round 20, you should have 50,000 points, which you're going to upgrade your melee weapon. All right, so we're going to come up here and then upgrade that bad boy until, obviously, we run out of money. Boom, open up that. woo -hoo, here we go. we got the pack-a-punch machine. we got one, two. We can't upgrade it a third time, but what we can do is we're now going to go in there, get free plate vest, and then go and then upgrade the weapon's rarity one more time. And that's all you really need to do to go AFK any rounds you like. Um, um, so now we're going to go here. There we go. We got now purple. And then quite simply go back down into that location until you get to round 25. And then what happens round 25? That's going to open up there. The wonder is we're going to go up there, get all the perks. And then what I'll show you come near the end of the video is what you need to do. If you've got a setup like me when I've got a Kronos Sen and I can literally go through the rounds exactly how I'm going to show you after. You know, this should be the end of the round. So that's the end of the round. Watch this. If it's not a spider round, you watch how far fast this round goes yeah i watch this and i'm only going to press one button ready here we go so i've pressed one button as soon as i get my field upgrade it's automatically going to put it out on the floor for me you see all the zombies there coming towards me as fast as and you see look i'm gonna put my field upgrade out there and then because we've got napalm active 
That's going to damage the abomination extremely fast. Okay, my script is pulling me back into the corner. So no matter what happens, if something pushes me out, it's instantly going to come back into that corner. And that is round 21 done in the bag. I've got two mines out there. And so, yes, unlimited mines. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show you all of my augments that I use in order for this to be what you have. All right, but if you ain't got that, all you need to do is just stand there and do completely nothing now for the rest of the game all right just do that as i said left analog stick pull back and then just knife once hold put something in that um button to keep it held down and then even if you get pushed forward you're then going to come back but everything is pretty much a one hit kill hopefully you enjoyed this one chaps if as i say if you do if you choose to stay to the end of the video i appreciate it put your activision name down in the comments section of the video and then i'm going to be pulling you in in my live stream stay tuned to the end of the video if you have the chrono scent if not thank you very much for watching it's been trying hd got love you and leave you once you need you and i'll see you guys on the next video yeah boy <laughs> you slags right another little tip if you get an insta kill or anything like that guys if you want to rank up your other weapon that you brought into the game now is the time to change to that weapon because that will obviously insta kill all the zombies that come out and try and kill you all right so yeah that's another little quick tip let's go and get some fucking perks shall we let's go all right get all the perks that are outstanding that are owed to us we've got that this is what i can do as well look if we just stand here in the middle of all the zombies you'll see that i do take some damage but because zombies come in and attack me look see i can literally stand in the middle of anywhere you got complete god mode i suppose if you just stood there and went in a circle like this yeah you got the best of both worlds just try and just stand there i mean if you if any of you lot want to test it just stand in a circle like that yeah might make you a bit dizzy but look at that bad boy the abomination yeah the rounds go really quick here chaps okay let's pick up all the stuff we need and then get back to our location right watch what i mean about the insta kill look when i get this the weapon that's in my hand will get the kill and i will wank, i will wank i wank my weapon up <laughs> i can't say rank and thing rank wank the weapon up look at this all dying we got four seconds and i'm going to change it back to my knife and then there every time you see an insta kill if you are not afk and you actually want to burn through the rounds really really quick just quite simple every insta kill boom 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 you see what i mean they're pushing me over to the left but because the left analog stick is held back you're going to go back into that corner there you go. He's just going to carry on attacking you. All the zombies are now going to come back in. Look at that. Completely AFK. And actually, his blasts kill zombies. So he actually helps you. He helps you get through the round. Round 28 already. Look. Come on, Mr. Zambles. This is why I use a Cronus Zen, chaps. Put it in the comments if you want me to activate it right here, right now. Just everyone spam number one in the comment section. And I'll activate it in three, two, one. Watch the difference. Ready? Here we go. Watch this. This is how you turn it on. Look, it's complete carnage. Complete carnage. What is what was there and causing me problems when I wasn't doing anything is now a thing of the past. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then what you do, you go and collect all the little bits that's dropped on the floor. Yeah. You want to get to a 5,000 and then we can go and upgrade our final bit and keep doing that. Right. There's one little thing I need to do to complete this whole thing. And that is go and then upgrade my knife to tier three and then also have it elite rarity. So we've got to come here, bosh, upgrade that bad boy. And then obviously go to pack a punch and make that tier three. And then that is literally going to damage the zombies so much. The elites, everything, they're going to die quick. We're going to one it, kill him. Bosh, have some of that. You, watch this. Come on, you want some? Look how quick he dies. Look at this. Come on, you want some? Yeah. You want it? Let's have it. Come on, sunshine. Have it. Right, okay. Now what we're going to do is just going to go back down now. Activate my AFK Corona Zen script. So those of you that are interested in that, all you need to now do is there's there'll be a link to my Discord. And in the general section, as soon as you join there, I'm going to put the script in there. All right, so if you haven't got a Corona Zen now, all you now need to do is what I've been telling you from the start of the video. Pull back on the left analog stick. If you're on uh, mouse and keyboard, just put a little weight on S and then try and have something where you're going to hold down the melee button and then just keep it like that. 
and then you can see right now that all the zombies are now going to die everything dies super super quick this is round 33 everything that hits me once even the manglers when they hit me two or three times they die instantly hopefully you enjoy this one chaps if you do if you got any questions like that put it down in the comment section and i promise you i'll respond to every single one of you and also if you're going to join a live stream come in there straight after you've seen this video and make sure you put the activision name with your hashtag at the end of your activision name all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to invite you from the live stream using your activision name i've been trying hd i've got it loving and leave you i want you and need you and i'll see you guys on the next video yeah boy <laughs> You schlags! Now I'm gonna activate my fucking script and show you exactly what it's all about. Unlimited minds, unlimited everything. Let's fucking go. I've got something else for you that I thought you might be interested in. If you want to get rid of this um, animation, buy one of these bad boys and enter it, all right? You're going to enter that fucking beast. And then when you come out of it, you won't have that animation around you. So just go in now. Yep, you thought I was saying goodbye, didn't you? Well, no, you thought wrong. Here we go. We're going to exit the fucking mangler suit. And now we have everything back to normal. And you're still going to have the glitch. All right. So, yeah. Take care, chaps. Good night. And God fucking bless. Oh, yeah. I forgot. It completely slipped my mind. Those of you that want the Kronos fucking zen and stayed right to the end of the video. Well, I've got a little treat for you, ain't I? Because I'm now going to show you exactly what you need. The augment, augments and everything let's quickly do an extraction and i'll see you guys in the fucking player lobby ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da, puppy power let's fucking go boys ladies and gentlemen we got to round 41 let's see how much xp we got shall we successful xfil 121,920 essence and 3,250 salvage oh 57,000? Well, that's a pile of wank, isn't it? I mean, to go AFK and get that is pretty good anyway, isn't it? Right, so without further ado, I'm going to show you now the augments that I'm equipping. All right, so Juggernaut, I've got Turtle Shell, Hardened Plates, Stamina Up Free Fall, Hard Target, Speed Cola, Supercharged, Quick Swap, Dead Shot Daiquiri, Dead Again, Dead Break, Quick Revive, we got Dying Wish, Slow Death, Elemental Pop, Citrus Focus. If a weapon has an ammo mod applied, Elemental pop will only activate that one now that's fucking important for that napalm that actually doubles up then vulnerability we got slightly increased enemy elemental weakness damage so the abominations once you knife them chaps you literally kill them so fast and then we got obviously phd flopper dr ram and we got tribologist and then last but no means least melee macchiato we got espresso that's why my melee is so fast it's because of this all melee attacks are slightly faster they're actually double the speed and then you got strength training your punch can one one hit kill normal zombies for more rounds all right so that's what i'm rolling there ammo mods we've got napalm burst burn enemies explode on death spread into fire to nearby enemies and then also incendiary each damage tick has a small chance to spread to nearby enemies and then we have the frenzy guard as i say retribution that's going to trigger everyone to die all right when they hit you they die basically and then last but no means least we got repair boost all right so that is it that is what you need as i say if you want this all you got to do is join the discord this will be available and also an auto aim mod for zombies all right so it's been trying hd gotta love and leave you out once you need ya and i'll see you guys on the next video yeah boy <laughs> you schlags have it